Workload Power Guard friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here and it's time for another work mode workout. And I'm not 100% happy with this new headset. I had to wait to get the audio done for this today for this one to come in Amazon Prime. Um, I'm not super happy with this audio, but this is the best that I think that we can do for now. So we're going to make this work. Uh, and if it's terrible, let me know guys and I'll see what we can do. So today was max effort bench press day, and today was something to where I had to step back and assess what I've been doing all year with the benching. Uh, the max effort benching and other stuff has taught me a lot about my leverages, about everything else, and one of the things I've been trying to do is put a square hole in a round peg all this time. You guys know historically, and I've always said, I've been much stronger on close grip and, and medium grip than I am wider grip. Yet, in theory, we should all be stronger on the wider grip. And it's that I thought I just needed to keep developing it and keep developing it. And even messing with it today, I've realized I've got my lockout power really strong from all the tricep work. All right? Because as I got through this, I hit a grinder. With this heavy band tension, um, I got up to the next single there. Actually, the next one after this. And it grind. I hit a grinder, yet I still locked it out. Well, normally with bands, you shouldn't be able to push through a grinder like that. So I have enough lockout strength, which I fix, that it's not a problem. I can just push right through it. But I was a little slow off the chest. And that's been the situation since I've gone wider. That has been the repeated situation. And it's something that I had to look at and go, you know, I've already learned messing with this now that I do an arch. And I go to flat footed it further down. My stomach does give me more power. Right. I know that from messing with the pen work. Then after I did this one and I felt I didn't like it, I went over and did my floor pressing and I did the first two to three sets of my floor pressing. Messing with the wide grip again, and I find that it's starting to irritate my shoulder a little bit doing the wide grip, including on the floor press to the point to where it was very uncomfortable on the third set. And I went back to doing a medium grip. And when I went back to doing a medium grip, the weight felt 20 pounds lighter the shoulder pain and discomfort disappeared. And I think this is something that we have to accept when we do different things. When we do these different max effort variations and different stuff, we look for weak links and we find our different leverages. And this is confirmed for me what I have known for many, many years. And I've always done closed grip benching. My heaviest lifts in my life have always been closed grip benching. All of my lifetime heaviest best PRs have always been done with a fairly narrow grip my entire life. But I've always pointed out, well, my triceps have always been kind of bad, so it's not ideal. But now we're realizing as I'm doing these, it explodes more. The same thing when I do my speed work, when I rotate through three different grip widths on the speed work, I'm always dramatically more explosive on the close grip, in spite of the fact that it's a longer range of motion. So what I simply have to accept is the fact that I'm just a better, narrower grip bench presser. I'm not built for wider grip benching. It irritates my shoulders, as I've said this for years before I was close grip, because it's just easier on my shoulders and I feel strong with it. I've spent this whole year trying to alleviate that and say, look, I think I can make it work. And the reality is I've been gaining strength, gaining muscle, all of this stuff, and the bench has been creeping along. And the second I come back and do a little bit of accessory here, exactly like I do when I do the speed work, it got easier as soon as I go narrow. And it's almost a close grip when I do it. I grip it right in the middle and the weight just feels light. It just popped right up. Now I'm fatigued. I've already done three other almost limit sets, right? The third set was almost a limit set. Then I get over and do it with the narrower grip and it feels light. Feels light. Felt like I had reps in the tank. So there comes a point with this stuff where I have to say, look, this is my solution for my bench pressing. Stop trying to do the wide. It didn't work for me decades ago. It's not going to work for me now. I think this one here is still still doing the narrow. I'll find out in a second. I think this is still the wide in this particular clip. Because the last two I do on narrow. And it just felt so much better. It felt so much better. In fact, some of the discomfort from it I noticed on my GM press still from the shoulder. But when I went to the narrower grip, the shoulder discomfort completely went away. It didn't exist during the sets. Reappeared a little during the JM press, but I didn't feel it on the overhead press. So I think this is the last one there to where I'm doing it with a wider grip that looks wider. And then we go over to the narrow. And I'm fatigued at this point. And I just grabbed it. So this is the way that I know I should do it. 
I realized it when I did the max and it felt heavy and I had to hit the grinder. I realized it when I did the floor pressing. All this different variation is teaching me that, look, this is the way that I'm meant to bench. And the only reason my bench didn't go up heavier last year is because I didn't build up my triceps and stuff enough, right? I didn't build up enough hypertrophy in the right places like I've been doing. So when I do this, just like, boom, look how just smooth that pops up. I'm pausing at the bottom. Look how much easier that looks. Look how much lighter that is for me. With a medium grip. Right? It's a couple inches away from the smooth. Maybe maybe two, three inches away from the smooth on each side. It's really easy. It's like, wow. So, what do we need to do? We need to keep doing everything we're doing. Because I know I need to get power for off the bottle. Right? I'm a raw bencher. We know that even with the wider grip, that's where I've been slower. I'm going to keep training as if that's my weak point. And what's the other thing that we need to do? I just need to blow my triceps up. I'm a tricep dominant bencher by nature. And it's not that my chest doesn't get work. It's that my chest with a wider grip gets put into a position that's just inefficient for me. It causes irritation. I can't get the power in it. And anytime I can use my triceps more with this a little more tuck and narrower grip, the weight just moves so much faster. Well, speed equals power. And speed equals strength. So... This tells me that that's what I need to do. I need to stick with medium and narrow grips exclusively. I need to do tons of close grip pressing on all my presses. Because my overhead pressing, look at the narrow grip I use on the overhead pressing. When I've hit my 225 plus strict presses, they've always been narrow like that. I'm just simply stronger and more powerful anytime I do a narrow grip. And yes, I know there's noise outside from mailman and stuff, but again, I need to get this video done. This is coming up really late today, so I don't care. The narrow grip, it's really the way forward. And now that I've got flat footing down, I'm arching correctly, I'm finding my optimal bar pass as far as where I need to be with any sort of press, as far as how far down I need to go, because the pen work shows you that, especially when I go with the flat foot in an arch. Now I realize I just need to do a narrow grip. I'm just gonna keep training it, keep training these weak points. I'm gonna do everything with the medium or close grip from now on. I'm not even going to play with the silly wide grip. My, my pinkies need to be inside the rings. They don't ever need to touch the rings or go past them, ever. It does nothing but irritate my shoulders and makes me slower. My chest will keep growing from tons of pressing. Not like I have a small chest. It'll grow just as I get stronger. I'm not going to worry about it other than we're going to do pause work. We're going to do floor pressing. We're going to do all that stuff. Now I'm going to really focus on building my triceps using a narrower grip and just focusing on powering through out of the bottom of everything, but then using the triceps to push through with everything, which means I'm going to keep growing my triceps, a very, very heavy tricep focus. And as long as my triceps grow, whenever my triceps have been my biggest, I've always had the best benching in the past, and my chest will just follow suit because it just grows because of the extra weight I can move because it puts that tension on it and it grows. But they always affect my ability to be explosive, to be fast. And that's what we're going to see. I'm adjusting based upon this. Max effort day is learning day. And this is something that, that I make a point of. Max effort day takes us to school. It takes us to school. It is our learning curve. It's our learning day. We learn from it. And the max effort days here is showing me that. And the numbers don't lie. Max effort day doesn't lie to you. It tells you the truth. Because all the other hypertrophy and speed work and everything else that we do, you know, it, it gives you info, but it can be misleading. When you test under a heavy weight, that's when you know where you're really at in terms of your strength. That's exactly what we're seeing. And I have a feeling, as soon as I start hitting heavy lifts now with that narrow grip, and I keep building my triceps up, uh, I think the bench PRs are going to happen, because I'm definitely re -topping. I'm getting bigger. I mean, look at even my back there. I'm getting bigger. I'm growing. Everything's growing. Those chin-ups are making my back grow, doing 100 of those a day. Um... And I hit failure there on the press. That was, I guess, eighth or ninth. That was attempted ninth rep on the fifth set. Hit failure. I was done. I went over to my J on presses. Now, because my shoulder felt a little bit funny from the wider grip floor presses and didn't bother me on the benching, uh, these felt a little awkward. So I just had to find a groove that didn't irritate it. And just like I did the last couple of weeks, whenever it's gotten irritated from it, I let it heal. And it does fine. 
So I have a feeling if I just completely avoid wide grip pressing, that's going to go away. It's not going to reappear. And it's not an injury. It just feels a little awkward. It feels like it's at a point to where if I pushed it really hard, it would get inflamed. Um, so discomfort there. But I've been getting that anytime, sometimes when I arch quite a bit and go really heavy. And even on the floor press is someone I go real wide on the grip. So it's just time to get rid of it. We don't need it. Save my shoulders. Save your shoulders. And say it's the same for anyone else. There's wider grip benching rather than your shoulders or any sort of pressing. It doesn't have to be bench. It can be any press. Go in narrower. Save your shoulders. If you're worried that you're not going to be as powerful with a narrower grip, work on your triceps more. It will offset it. It will more than offset it. In my case, I'm always stronger narrower. Every time, I've never been able to get the same speed and power with a wider grip than I can with a medium or close, ever. And it's, that's just the way it is. I'm a tricep dominant bencher. It has to do, I think, for me personally, because I have a really long wingspan relative to my body. Um, and yes, I've measured it. So people say, no, you don't know. I've actually measured it. I know what my wingspan is. It is above average. Um, I think it just puts my shoulders in a weird angle at the bottom. And it makes me rotate the shoulder in a certain way. It's not ideal. And again, lets me use a little less tricep. And the more tricep I can get involved in a press with a good shoulder position, just the more powerful I tend to be. So what I need to do is put the focus in my triceps, right? Obviously, I'm going to floor press from the pause. Obviously, I'm going to overhead press. I'm going to do all these things. We're going to focus on triceps and power. So I need to just drive through everything using the triceps to drive. And again, I want the point to be clear with that is that I'm not saying that the bench press doesn't work the chest or use it. It absolutely does. In my case, I think it stretches it too deep and it puts my shoulder in a bad position if I'm not careful because of my arm length when I go wide, but only when I go wide, not at any other time. So now that I have a plan, I've learned from this. Um, I've been watching what's happening. I was, I was suspecting this was going to be the case the last few weeks. And I didn't want to accept that I've been wrong, that the wider grip because of the shorter range of motion should work. No, we just need to get my triceps strong. If I need to cut range of motion, work on arching more. That's it. And so, again, good workout, very valuable learning experience. Um, now that I see everything that's wrong, we fix it. We can move forward from here. And now my bench is going to climb, I suspect, exactly like my squat has. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.